Guess what's back again? Flares? Low-rise jeans. Oh, I hate low-rise jeans. From the early 2000s. Okay, here's the thing. Unless you have a perfect body, low-rise jeans don't look good on you. Right, no, I, I get it. And I, I told you the story, I think, because you used to work at Treasures, Formal and Bridal, I, bridal mm-hmm. that we mentioned in our bonus episode. Yeah, uh, our local did. Christmas gift guide, by the way. Maybe yes. check that out if you haven't. Check that out. Quick plug for this because Carly brought up 13 local businesses that she personally loves, has personally shopped, and it's a great local gift giving guide mm-hmm. if you're looking for ideas for Christmas. Yeah. I came in. So I thought I was like a 32 inch waist. Uh-huh. Come to find out, it's more like a 40 inch waist. Because I was wearing my pants too low. Mm -hmm. Because I always hiked them up to like my rib cage (laughs) as a kid. But then when the low rise trend came along and it even happened for dudes a little bit, I was like, yeah, okay, they can hang on my hips. That's cool. And I I had to fight it. I had to get used to it. And then I haven't stopped. (laughs) Which I hate. I hate being able to see. So I thought my waist size was wrong. (laughs) That's fair. Here's the thing, though. I hate being able to see like underwear and also... As a girl with hip dips. The whale dips. tail in the back. Yeah. Plus, I have hip dips. So no matter what I do, if I wear low-rise low jeans, it looks like I've got a muffin top, whether or not I do, <laughs> you know? Yeah. And on top of that, too, like, I'm an hourglass figure. So, like, why would I cut off at the widest part of my hip when I could instead cut off at the narrowest part of my waist where I actually look curvy? I remember thinking in the year 2000... When I saw these low-rise jeans happening, I remember thinking, okay, this is cool and all, but um, what's it going to be in 25 years? Mm -hmm. Because some of them low-rise jeans, even the ones like Britney Spears wore, you could almost see the top of the the vajayjay. Yeah. The hoo-ha. You could could almost see the entire pubic bone. And because I knew then that fashion was cyclical, I was like, when this comes back... That, is that going to be the end of the world? Will that be the apocalypse? <laughs> just wait. It's going to go from <laughs> just above your crotch to just under your boobs. <laughs> you know? <laughs> and I know I'm starting to sound like an old person. You were talking last week about clutching your pearls. <laughs> you know? Some of the right. things kids say these days make you blush. Uh-huh. And boy, I have no idea <laughs> what it's going to be like. Okay, how about let's predict the one that's coming in 2050. The way that folks really ought to do it and that I wish they would start doing it is people need to just analyze themselves as an individual, their own personal style, their own preferences, how they want clothes to look on, on them, and then they need to make an you know an, uh, educated choice based on that as to what looks good on them instead of going with the trends. Because trends don't last. Fashion does. That's never going to happen, but I get you. Well, <laughs> I know... Even though I don't wear jeans, I will have exactly two, maybe three pairs. I'll have one pair of fat jeans. (laughs) I'll have one pair of skinny jeans and one pair of flares, and that's all I need. (laughs) And then I'm good. Yeah. I mean, all throughout my childhood, flare was where it was at. Yeah. You know? And I remember one year in second grade, they only had straight leg jeans at Kmart. And I was so upset. (laughs) That entire school year, I had to wear straight leg jeans, and I looked so dumb compared to all the other kids. And I felt so dumb and I just, uh, I felt so masculine. And I was like, this is dumb. Like, can I get new jeans yet, mom? Not to try and one up ya, but I actually wore Sears tough skin jeans <laughs> growing up as a kid mm-hmm. with the reinforced knee. Oh yeah. Yeah. they That was humiliating. My parents did all the shopping <laughs> in the Sears catalog. I made up my mind very quickly, sent my parents on their way, and then went out and checked out Cheryl Teague's in the bra section. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> I think that's the second or third time you've re- you've referenced that. I think, uh, that must have been a pretty pivotal, pivotal point in your childhood. Cheryl Teague's in the Sears catalog and Barbara Carrera in Condor Man. <laughs> one of the greatest movies ever made. <laughs> Disney is remaking everything. Why don't you remake Condor Man? There we go. Now that we have the special effects to actually support it. It had the original Phantom of the Opera, Michael Crawford. That's true. Theme song huh? by Henry freaking Mancini. Bring back Condor Man. <laughs> okay. 